Hey, it's Kim. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see in this video, I'll be doing a refrigerator organization and clean out. I organized the fridge first and then I did the freezer towards the end. So be sure to watch the entire video if you want to see both the fridge and the freezer transformation. I just didn't want anything to melt, so I took it one step at a time. I was surprised how empty my fridge looked in the end. So like I said, be sure to watch the whole video so that you can see the difference from how it looks now to what it looks like in the end. The clutter made the fridge seem so packed. These wraps are so good. To clean and organize the refrigerator, I went ahead and removed everything from the fridge. I know, I know, it's, it's gross. Honestly, we don't use these condiments frequently, but I'm sure all of a sudden we'll need them if I decided to get rid of them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and keep them. So here's everything from the fridge. So the fridge is now empty. We've never cleaned it since, since we've been here. We just put everything in. And the previous owners, they had three dogs and literally, look at this. This is just absolutely disgusting dog hair like everywhere at the bottom of there to get a good clean i removed the shelves and the produce baskets to clean out the refrigerator i just washed it with dish soap and water and then wiped the inside as well as the fridge door and went over it with some dry kitchen rags some of the stains were pretty stubborn but i got most of them out there were some that were just like discolored that were not removable so i just left them it was honestly probably just like one spot i went ahead and washed the shelves with dish soap and water as well i used the loofah for these just to remove more of the mess easily Instead of air drying them, I used a newspaper to dry them off because I didn't want to have to wait for them to air dry. And the newspaper does a pretty good job at drying glass. I used to put a kitchen cloth in these bins, but I'm not really sure why I stopped because it made it so much easier to clean when it was time to actually clean it out. But as you can see, I didn't use it with these and they are their mess. So I'm gonna do the same, gonna wash it out with some dish soap and then go ahead and dry it with newspaper so that it dries faster and I can get this fridge completed. So we have a lot of these. My youngest, he loves coconut water. So we have those for him. And every Friday we celebrate the end of the week with Martinelli. So we got a fresh batch for this Friday. These are all opened. So I'm just gonna pour those out and recycle the bottles. I picked these up at Home Goods. Um, I don't know if I'll use all of them. Let's see. So then we have some bigger ones that are $4.99. I got rid of what I know we won't use and fruits that were just way past their due date in the fridge. Okay, so I might have struggled just a little bit trying to get this back in the fridge because I could not figure out where it was supposed to begin. So it took me a few minutes to get it all together. So after I inserted the produce basket, it kind of just shifted into place. So I was really happy about that part. To organize the yogurts, we use one of the shorter bins so that the face of the yogurt can be seen. Just like how it is in the grocery store, I really like that setup. Before we just placed these anywhere there was space, so I thought it would be nice to organize them in bins as well. I was really trying to limit the amount of bins that I was using just because I honestly want to live like a plastic free life. You probably can't tell, but it's a goal. 
These organizers were so perfect for the carrots and celeries and I won't have to overcrowd the produce bins below. I'm really not organizing the produce bins in any particular way. I do know I just want my root vegetables in one spot, which is why I separated the beets from the peppers and the tomatoes, but oftentimes I do buy spinach, so the spinach would go with the beets. I'm just going to transfer these fruits into smaller glass containers. I found these at Home Goods and decided to dedicate them to our fruits. So this bowl is the smallest from our mixing set of three. We rarely use it, so I thought it'd be a good idea to just store our lemons in there. These needed to be wiped down so badly. I don't know if I'm just late or people actually wipe their containers down frequently because maybe I just wasn't paying attention before. If you're one of those persons that wipe down your containers frequently, let me know if you're just like me and just realizing that there are particles on top of your condiments. Let me know that too in the comments below. So there's really no method to this part of organizing these in a particular way. The goal is just to have them in the fridge so that they're visible and accessible. The third shelf on the fridge door is pretty weak. Like it, it'll just fall apart if we put anything heavy in there. So I'm just gonna store everything in the top two shelves. And here's my fridge transformation. It's more organized and each item is visible, which was one of my goals. I really like that I can see the flavor of each yogurt with this setup. Again, here's a before and after. It's amazing what four bins can do when it comes to organizing your refrigerator. So we buy mostly dry goods if you're wondering where the rest of anything is. I also don't buy juice and I don't refrigerate my water so there's plenty of space in the fridge now and we usually store our leftovers in containers anyways so it's pretty much perfect for us. And now it's time to move on to the freezer which took honestly less than 20 minutes to clean and organize. I used a wash basket so that the items could stay together and share their coldness and prevent anything from melting. These are just leftovers from my fruit plants. If you haven't seen that video, I documented my three days of um, cleansing. So I'll leave a link in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. And if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing and give me a thumbs up if you're enjoying my content. Again, I scrub the freezer with soap and water before using a dry rag to wipe it clean. The tall organizing bins worked so well for these frozen veggies. Well, it's just corn and sweet peas, but you know, still. <laughs> they're veggies. Not much variety, but they're there. And the whole shelf dedicated to my ice cream, which I cannot get over. That's like my number one weakness. And here's my freezer after being cleaned and organized. I honestly don't think it was that bad before, but now everything is just visible to the eye, which is something that I really like because if I can't see it, chances are I probably won't ever get to it or use it. But I really like that I could see the top of everything, even though I really don't have much in my freezer to scavenge through, but I really like the way it turned out.
And here's just a little recap of the fridge as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.